G'day ladies and gentlemen, the Buttsman here, and we all know that TikTok is a breeding ground for the most insane woke people of all time. These people are real life individuals, and that may shock some of you with what we're about to see. If the question had been, only females can give birth, I would have agreed. Interesting. No, so I haven't had COVID yet. I'm called what we call ourselves in the communities, a Novid. Not to shave my back hair because uh, I <laughs> Is, don't you hate it when your balls are sticking out of your panties just a little bit? I don't know what to tell you. If your balls are sticking out of your panties, you might just win Woman of the Year 2024. So let's jump straight into it. Let's not stuff around. Let's have a look at some people that we can all just take a moment to take a breath and thank the law that we are not them. That's the one thing to take away from this video. Thank fuck this isn't you. Holy dooly, ladies and gentlemen. What the fuck? What is? What is? What is? This? this is this is a 26 second video of this like? Okay, you, that suits your body a little bit more. Well done. Well done. That's great. Fantastic. I bet those rips and those jeans weren't there prior to you putting them on. Uh, oh, hey, ladies and gentlemen, we really saw a little bit too much of this beautiful lady. Holy dooly. Uh, that is uh, that is a big leather jacket. It's the whole cow. Um, I don't know what to say. Great to see you, love. Great to see you. What a great way to start this video. Oh, you are kidding. You are ki you are you absolute wanker. Fuck you to the moon. You are achieving nothing. You are achieving nothing. Fuck off. Is, don't you hate it when your balls are sticking out of your panties just a little bit? And it doesn't hurt that bad right now, but you know if you just keep going the way it is, it's gonna start chafing and just hurting worse. Ugh. Why did God do this to women? Ladies. I don't know what to tell you. If your balls are sticking out of your panties, you might just win Woman of the Year 2024, and I'll vote for you. I believe only women can give birth. Okay, so we are here with one of those videos where basically people line up on the yes side or the no side. I believe only women can give birth. Let's see what these people think. Three, two, one. Ooh, which one? Oh. Okay, I bet I can tell which way is no and which way is yes. Okay, I, I'm gonna say if you go to the blue line, you're saying that yes, only women can give birth. Although the person in the high heels is going to, towards the blue line, so that's confusing. Um, trans men have had babies, straight up. Yes, but it's the polite thing to do, call them trans men. They are biological women. And trans men are men, I believe, in, in my belief that... Uh, That's great. You believe whatever you want to fucking believe. The earth is purple. Don't give a shit. That's we have facts. a biology and we have a gender. Um, uh, you have an agenda. It, it's actually been proven for me. Uh, I have brain scans that uh, were dismissed by my neurologist. You're pregnant in your brain, you've got issues, bro. It's not being mine because they were the brain scans of a girl. But they were my brain scans, so... I call bullshit on that whole part of your story. I'd like to hear from your neurologist. And why do you have a neurologist? And why are they looking at brain scans? And why do you have... And how do you know... Uh, just more information, please. Uh, there is also uh, the XYX chromosome uh, that is uh, intersexed. And they can have children. That's not who we're talking about here. That's not who we're talking... That's very, very rare. Very rare. And that's... We know that's not what you're talking about. And a lot of them have the characteristics and biology of men, but they have a working womb and they can have children. So it, it, you can't put a box around it. You can't go... You can put a box around it. And by box, I mean vagina. By it, I mean a baby. So you can put a box around it. It is this or that. It's not possible. It is possible. We've been doing it for fucking a very long time. It negates people's existence. It doesn't matter about your existence. Your existence isn't important. The world will continue with or without you. And the fact remains that only women can have babies. It negates people's experience. It, your experience doesn't matter. It makes people feel like they do not have a place. Doesn't matter. No one cares. Not, I'm not talking about just trans people. I'm talking about every person. No one cares about your own experience. You're not important. You're important in your own life. The world, the realm, the human existence, it doesn't, it continues with or without you. So I think um, some of the confusion begins with the actual verbiage. Verbiage? Ooh. Um, women being a gendered term and not a sexed term. We use it interchangeably. Um, if the question had been, 
only females can give birth, I would have agreed. Interesting. I wonder if the lady in the blue would agree with that. Women is a gendered term that can mean anything to a lot of different people, um, which brings me back to the fact that we really shouldn't be letting parents teach their children about sex when so many adults and parents can't differentiate between gendered words and sexed words. Let's let's not let's let's just stick to ba men don't have babies. How about that? Just because I had a, just a bit of a jarring experience here. Um, I went I went into the bank. I was trying to change my name on my account. I'm going to go out on a limb and say most of the money in the bank comes from uh, the taxpayer. Is that a fair assumption? Which apparently I can't do because my ex and I still have a joint account, so my ex... Okay, so the caption of this is misgendered at the bank. And this sort of happened recently as well with the lady at the restaurant. And she had a compilation of all of these waiters and managers of restaurants misgendering her. Now her problem was when she spoke, she sounded like this. I'll have the fucking eggs benedict mate. Alright, and people thought she was a bloke. Now, I'm going to suggest that perhaps this person here, if they want to be called a she, maybe sound like a she. Spilt my fucking water. Maybe sound like a she. The girl who was doing it had a question and she ca she calls her co-worker over and like, well, he's trying to change his name on his account. And I'm, I'm like, she? She kind of like looks at me a little bit and is like, oh, I'm sorry. Mate, like I understand that it might make your life nicer to be called she. And, and I would do that. If you ask me, I'll call you she. I think it's a nice thing to do. I'm a polite individual. But if you're at the bank and you're saying to someone, Mate, I just need to change over me name on this account. Of course, the lady's going to look at you and go, No worries, sir. If she said ma'am, she would be a fucking idiot. And just like it writes it off. But like, I'm just like... You read both names. Like, she had both my IDs and my legal name change paperwork in Ooh, front of her. Ooh, what's a name? So, um, you know what my name's going to. Number two, I look and sound like this. Are you arguing that you sound female? I don't even think you look female. Like, you just look like a dude. I don't know, down on his luck a little, just a little bit. Um, ah, mm. I know I'm six feet tall, but girl, come on, I'm wearing a dress. Come on, girl, I'm wearing a dress. I am wearing a dress. I am wearing makeup. I'm wearing eyeliner. And yeah, but dudes do that sometimes. Maybe you're just a little bit of an emo. Maybe that's why you do emo, emo still a thing. Are you guys out there? Are you okay, emos? Are you? An eyeshadow and everything. Like, <sighs> what do I have to fucking do? What do I have to do? Sound and appear like a woman. Because this is what happens when there's really butch women out there, like lesbian ladies, just not putting, not throwing shade at the lesbians. I know you're bigger and stronger than me. What I'm saying is there's some ladies out there that look like dudes and they get confused for dudes. If you don't want to be confused for a dude, don't look like one. If you want to be called a lady, look like one. End of. To like, just get gendered correctly once. Imagine this being your life. Find any other hobby, mate. Like, I, I know it's happened before, but like, when I'm doing something like official like this, it's been so annoying that like. Okay, that's, I'm not watching anymore. Get over it. That's my advice. Get over it. Find something else to whinge about. A teacher had a Facebook page for teachers and parents and began to spread rumors that I was a Nazi. Ooh. My name is Ray Shelton and I've worked here at the Glendale Unified School District for 25 years. There have been some issues regarding transgender ideology implementation. There were a group of parents who wanted to get together to go down to the board and ask me to speak for them. Let me just interject. In some kindergartens across the world, the Western world, we are seeing some teachers and some curriculums teaching kids ridiculous parts of the ideologies of woke sort of people and progressive, really progressive people. 
transgender ideology, if you will. And I don't think it's the ideology of all transgender people. I think it's the transgender ideology that's associated with the really woke movement. Now, some of those things uh, include, but are not limited to, uh, men can have babies. Now, just that one thing alone, if you include that in the curriculum of a young person, you are confusing the fuck out of them and you are not doing your duty as a teacher. You are not showing them the way of the world and you are not broadening their horizons or their knowledge. You are just confusing them and you are doing a disservice to the children that you are there to protect and look after and teach. On April 18th, I went down to the board. I didn't identify myself as a Glendale teacher. I just said a few, I think, non-controversial things. You know, two plus two is four. Biology is not bigotry. I basically criticized transgender ideology. And the next day I was- You can't do that. You can't do that. You cannot do that. You cannot criticize this. If you are in a normal job and you do this, you will be sacked. This is basically wrong think. Even though you know two plus two equals four, you need to say it equals five. Next day I went into my workplace. The principal came down. They sat down and had a formal letter relieving me of my duties. Because they're scared, mate. They're scared. They're scared that they're gonna get their job taken from them and then the politicians are scared. Everyone's fucking scared. And that's why they have been battered into this corner where the only way out is accepting falsehoods. A bit scary. And putting me on paid leave, telling me that there had been complaints lodged against me. And then they escorted me to the edge of the property. She went beyond that, saying that I had engaged in hate speech. Our parents in the community began to... Just acknowledging that biology is a thing is hate speech. Spread rumors on the social media. Wow. I was doxxed. And I received death threats. That's what's... To, it's just going to get worse, ladies and gentlemen. It's just going to get fucking worse. I'm not asking other people to wear a mask. It's just the thing that I do. The young Aussie is still living COVID cautiously. It's 2024. Have you had COVID yet? And what is it that makes you fearful of getting it? No, so I haven't had COVID yet. I'm called what we call ourselves in the communities a Novid. As a young person, I've also had six vaccinations. I'm really aware that if I get a COVID infection... I'm not going to say anything because the video will get demonetized. So just my pauses and me saying things. COVID infection, it's unlikely to kill me. What I think about is the risks of long COVID to our long-term health. My husband also has a number of chronic health conditions, and we know that those conditions can be exacerbated by a COVID infection. I don't care if your husband's got psoriasis, all right? Fucking go out. Go out and enjoy your life, mate. You know, wearing a mask, avoiding situations that are poorly ventilated, to me, that's a, that's a low kind of cost to protect my future. It's 2024, mate. Fucking hard now. Protect my future health. Have you noticed that you living still COVID cautiously has had an impact on any of your relationships, be it family or friends? The hardest part about it is other people's attitudes. You because we have the right attitude. You get the occasional dirty look. Yeah, it's good. We definitely get some older white men in particular walk past us and do a big fake cough in front of us. I did that in New York uh, not too long ago. Someone got in the lift with a big mask on and I thought, I, fuck you. I, I'm, I'm not looking to make other people change what they do. But if you are coughing and you were sneezing, it would be great if you stayed home or you wore a mask, particularly if you were on a bus or a train or a tram. I don't disagree with that. I think as a human population, if you are quite ill, you should stay away from other people just so you don't get them sick. But this bloke, I'm not going to say anything because, you know, I'll get in fucking strife off the, the old overlords. But, you know, you know my thoughts. Harden up, mate. Let's talk about the sleep gap. Did you know that black Americans do not sleep as well as white Americans do? Do you know no one cares? <laughs> I'm not even going to listen to the rest of your video. Shut up. There's no... Sleep is not racist. Shut up. If shaving is a choice, then I choose not to shave. Not to shave my armpits, not to... Hang on, let me just go back. I need to see if there's a bulge. Then I choose not to shave. Bulging conclusive. Not to shave my armpits, not to shave my knuckles, not to shave my chest hair, not to shave my chin hairs, not to shave my hairy legs, not to shave my back hair. Because uh, I <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's awful. My wife and I, the other night, we watched Leave the World Behind, which is a new uh, movie on Netflix, like an apocalypse sort of movie. And there's a young woman in it who is the daughter of one of the dudes. 
she doesn't wear a bra so it's just nipples all day and i reckon if you don't wear a bra around your dad like put your nipples away babe that's my first point second point is she takes her shirt off to go for the swim uh, and she's got a bikini on and the hairiest underarms and you're just like why are they why is this in a movie? What are you trying to prove? You really think you're changing the world, don't you? Well fuck you, fuck you and fuck everyone. Fuck the lot of you. Fuck you to the moon. It's gross. Don't care. You'll never change my mind. Bodies that look like this. God, I'm sick of seeing the bodies that look like this trend. Ladies, just shut the fuck up. Also look like this. Your body is the norm, the standard of beauty in western cultures hang on, hang on you're telling me that this lady with blue hair has a problem wow i cannot believe you have a problem with something in fact let's ignore her i don't care what it is this is gonna be a bit of a shit take but fuck it i'm so over seeing all these influencer fitness accounts who have infinite money they have infinite resources they've never been fat in their lives and they're like oh just make this easy meal with 50 fucking ingredients that cost the earth Meanwhile, half their shit is sponsored. Their gym outfits are sponsored. Oh, I remember this video. The reason I put this in here, it's not a woke sort of take or anything like that. It's this lady is upset because influencers that she follows on the internet have like, she goes on to say that she, they're sponsored by brands that give them free clothes and they're sponsored by food brands, yada, yada, yada. You don't need anything sponsored to lose weight. You don't need any special treatment to lose weight. Eat less, move more. That's all you need. That's all you need. up right now. It's because I've been sobbing. I was just talking with customer support with my bank. I was calling about some bank stuff. The lady like was super nice. So she called me. Let me guess. She thought you were a dude. Mr. Carter, which is, I mean, like my voice is deep. I get it. I was like, oh, actually it's. Well, what have you got to complain about then? Miss Carter. And she's like, oh, sorry. And then she just proceeded to call me Carter. <laughs> But she kept saying, sir, and it is accidental and she'd correct herself. It's got to be hard though. It's got to be hard if you're talking to someone, you can't see them, particularly on the phone. And they're talking like this and you say, yes, sounds great, ma'am. We are not programmed socially to accept, oh, like with voice, with deep voice particularly, that that person thinks they're a woman. And, you know, I would do it just to be polite. But not everyone's out there to be polite to you. And not everyone wants to curtail everything in their life just to suit you. If you want to be happy as a trans person or a non-binary person, by all means, I wish you the fucking best. But you can't rely on other people's input just to make you happy. You need to just get over that, ladies and gentlemen. Just fucking get over it. Anyway, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. Me dick stinks. Toodle au revoir. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching the video. Make sure you hit subscribe and check out IsaacButterfield.com for all my tour dates. Check out the second channel that I do with my wife, Little Buttsman, and the Pokemon channel as well. My wife and I also have a podcast called The Mum and Dad Show. It is on Spotify and YouTube. And ladies and gentlemen, we have videos coming out almost every day on this channel. We'll see you very soon. Bye.